بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سورة الملك is one very important surah that a lot of people don't understand or don't have information about its virtues and, and thus this session one of the virtues of Surah Al-Mulk, Surah Tabarak, uh, is that it intercedes. Again, we need to be keen on anything that comes and intercedes on the Day of Judgment for our salvation. This is another thing, Surah Al-Mulk. The Prophet Wasallam said, and this is reported by a tirmidhi classified as sound by Al-Albani. He said, there is a surah in the Quran containing 30 verses that will intercede for the person until he is forgiven. It is Surat Tabarak Alladi Biyadhi Mulk. Now, the person who memorizes it, recites it, understands it. Okay. Another thing that's uh, a virtue of this surah is that it protects the person against the punishment of the grave. It's a protection against the punishment of the grave. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is reported by Ibn Mardawi and classified as authentic by Albani. He said, Surah to Tabarak prevents from the punishment of the grave. And then he gave in another narration that's reported by Al-Hakim, classified as sound by Al-Bani. He gave some details, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, about this. He said, uh, the man will be approached by punishment in his grave. So punishment would be approaching him from his feet. His feet would say, you cannot go through from this side because he used to stand up in prayer, reciting Surah Tabarak using me. The feet, standing up on the feet, on his feet or her feet. Surah Al-Mulk, he used to use me in Qiyam to recite Surah Al-Mulk. Then he will be approached from his chest. The chest would say, there is no way through from my side. He used me to recite Surah Al-Mulk. Then he will be approached from his head. His head would say, there is no way through from my side. He used me to recite Surah Al-Mulk. What is meant here is that no matter which direction the punishment approaches the person in his grave, Surah Al-Mulk will be the reason to protect him against that punishment in the grave. Lastly, it is one of the adhkar before we go to bed. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and this is reported by Al-Hakim, classified as, authentic, as sound by Al-Albani. He said, whoever recites Surah Al-Mulk every night. People of knowledge said, this is at the time of bed. Then he has earned an abundant reward and has done something that is extremely well. Something that is very good. In another narration that is reported by uh, An-Nasai and classified as sound by Al-Albani, he sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, whoever recites Tabarak alladhi biyadihi al-mulk, every night it will protect him from, Allah will protect him, Azza wa Jal, by its virtue, from the punishment of the grave. Now we spoke about the punishment of the grave, but the, the point I'm making in this narration is that he recites it every night. So it's one of the adhkar of going to bed. And with this we conclude the virtues 
and the timings of Surah Tabarak. Subhanakallahum bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu